I'm pushing it a little bit too much here. Oh man. Hello, Shaq. What's up? Hey, Major. Jonah, please change your glasses. No, I have the right glasses on. Damn it, Pat. You made me look. Okay, so today's restock day. This is the most exciting day. Military helmet could be worth getting. We also get military gloves. This would probably be worth getting for the, um, for the stun baton. But there is another trader to check as well, so we'll go there and do Are that. Are you finished? Two antidote? Okay, well at least we know that now. For the next four hours, or four days. Oh yeah, I need to repair. Oh, okay, we'll do that at the other trader. We'll do that at the other trader. I'd love to see firefighters though. That seems like a... I, I suppose it's too niche, right? Right? But then you feel like cops would also be too niche. That's why they removed the cheerleader and the cowboy zombie. And the footballer, because it was too niched. Oh! Ooh, that's bad. That's bad timing. Yeah, okay, I think I missed most of them. Yeah, I avoided the horde. Man, I think this would maxed out sexual transaurus would be really strong. Just keep doing power attacks. I feel like they could add like another 30 zombies in this game to feel it more like more fresh. Because you are killing the same zombie over and over again. Man, I can afford a lot of power attacks. Basement dwelling gamers. Yes. Such as ourselves. More biome specific zombies? Yes. Like they were, I always hated that in the snow biome it's only lumberjacks. <gasps> oh, that was so close. Ah, <laughs> uh, yikes. But it needs to be like, yes, that can only exist in that biome, but also blended in with other zombies. Like kind of like it is now, but it's still a little like too many, too many lumberjacks. Almost did an oopsie again. Give us a kiss. Wow, that's expensive. Expensive. I should probably get this. Wow, very disappointing. Nothing uh, that I want. I mean... Yeah, I'll get that, I suppose. If you wish. But yeah, let's sell off all this stuff so we can upgrade, uh, repair the thingy. The thingy. Look at that. We have money. Good luck. We have a little bit of money. Snow should have lesser ferals. There's more ferals in the snow biome? I honestly have never thought about that. Um, I think we're just gonna go. Uh, we, we need to get bricks though. Buy the vice. Well, okay, let's buy. If I don't buy it now, I'm gonna forget about it. Oops. Whoa. Okay.
Okay, that was a little dicey. I missed way too many power attacks. Great prizes. Ooh, has a bellows too. Good luck. I should probably check for nerd tats. probably do this I'll I'll use the pipe baton mostly for a finisher yeah that'll be the best okay now this is like the fifth attempt I'm doing this but we're gonna finally check what's over at that uh dude that looked amazing that like never happens wow on the first hit too so satisfying Damn it! What the fuck the hell? How did he not die from that? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, they just keep on coming in. Yeah, come over here so I can deal with you. I'm really popular. I know. Really, really popular. Sweet. We decapitate the businessman head, turn into Steve's head, yeah. <laughs> Steve all grown up. Hmm, what PY is that? How did he hit me? He was mid stun. Oh, I call BS. But he was stunned, though. Like, well, it was a very short stun then. Yeah, no, I don't think this is very nice. Because it's just, uh, it's just not close enough. The, uh, the city is like too much wasteland and then the city, right? So like that little bit of land can just be swarmed with bears. Well, there is a road over here. I don't know why I haven't really thought to use that one instead. Now, this is an interesting location because this is like the, the conversion of, of all these, uh, of these three biomes here. Hmm. 
All right, we'll see how far it is really to the to the city here. Maybe this is like a closer point over there where it's like really close. Oh, and there's also titanium right here. How convenient. Now that's the first time we've actually been giving something decent from the wasteland loot. Alright. I suppose this is how it starts. Hmm. I wonder where this gravel road leads. Oh, thank you, Clay. What building is that? Is that Journey's End? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I've asked Darius to set up a thingy for me so that I, that I get alerted when there's ads, so I just pause the game. Because I can never remember to check the uptime. And there are ads in like three minutes, so I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. I don't know why you got the er ads early, though. Dude, is this a horde? What? Crap. That's a lot of zombies all of a sudden. Oh man, imagine a molly right here. Or Nurtats. Too bad the pipe bomb just broke. Or the... <laughs> the pipe baton. Why they're all fast? Isn't that the craziest thing? Isn't this convenient how this building's like right there? It's almost like I should live there. A little too far away from one of the traders, maybe. Either way, I should definitely loot it though. Alright, I'm gonna clear this entire thing though. Yeah, I'm gonna clear it all. Bring it on. TV has 20 minutes per hour of ads. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is here as well. It's absolutely atrocious.
bad stream, yeah. Yeah, there is a Leviathan Scorpion over there. I think we're fine. Yeah, it's all the way over there. Right? It's nothing to do with how many, like, how many of you watches them. That's the incentive thing. Yeah, I get also paid, like, microscopical amount for each person that actually watches it, of course. But it's, like, nothing compared to what I get paid up front. This POI has changed. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Do a bonus stream every Saturday? Eight hours of ads. <laughs> uh, run an ad stream day one each month for an hour. Oh my god. It would work for you guys that, that were here for this conversation. The other people coming in would just be like, Oh my god, this guy is terrible. I'm never coming back. So it's not really great for getting new people in, that's for sure. I don't think I've looted this POI in Alpha 20. So this change here, I don't know if that's the pimps or if that is uh, Subquake. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's not a Leviathan, actually. But it will heal, though. I only had 27 rounds. I don't think that's enough to kill it. But it looks completely stuck, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, isn't there zombies up here? Oh, the one- that's the ones I already got though, right? Gotta steal the TVs to sell well. Come on. Isn't this the old loot room right here? Or am I am I completely forgetting this POI right now? I suppose this is in the opposite corner. Yeah, it's in the opposite corner. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is.
There it is. Light's a better weight price ratio, I suppose. Oh wow, that's really this block is really messing them up, I think. I think I'm gonna sit here during the night. I, I think that's what I'll do, but I gotta be super quiet. And I gotta kill off these, of course. POI is changed. All right, lucky Google's on. Lucky Google's <laughs> goggles. Uh, all right, loot stage is 72. So there's a decent chance that we get something here. I hate that that mod is only for clubs and clubs only. You can never close them on the first try. You, you know where exactly where to aim, where you have like the longest range. I usually aim for the hinges because that's where the closest point the door will be to you if it opens out uh, inward, right? Or away from you. Wow, that was super disappointing. Google the loot boxes. I guess the question is, do you rerun streams count towards your monthly total time needed? I don't think so. Uh, it's a, it's a nice thought though, if that was the case, but I, I believe, I believe reruns are wildly unpopular. Or are they? I could probably make it back, right? I don't need to stick around here. Yeah, I can't open this right now, unfortunately. Uh, I'll try to get these bookcases here though, see if that's gonna work. Oh. Nice. Wouldn't it be cool to turn this room into like a loot, uh, like a horde, horde room? It would be kind of cool. I can see it. I can see it. I feel like there's more work though. Like you're adding a lot of work for that. This could also be where they get in, you know, through here. So I would stay no, no, you will of course want to use those stairwell and the but you build from there and straight forward Hmm, you would have to fill in all of this though because this is all broken floors. Love the shadow of the chandelier. Yeah All right, we'll just sit here. I suppose I Mean if you could change out all this to concrete Or even if they fall all the way down you just can you just have another stairwell there is another stairwell But you gotta make it a little easier access and then you can have that thing going across here So I would pretty much stand here for horde and I would take out these on the side and of course have to take away uh, I have to fill in all the sides with concrete <laughs> Yeah, I know I know but I like to go with the efficient route But then again I also build like underground bases which are widely inefficient to do 
Now, I've spent most of my time going around the edges of the forest biome trying to figure out where I want to build my base. And I suppose this would be the ultimate spot. But the building is a little too big though, so I, I would have to do a lot, so much stuff to like make it secure, right? Yeah, it'd be... Mm, yeah, I think this would be difficult to ma be made secure because zombies would see other paths that you may not think about and they, all it takes is just a couple of zombies that works on that and you don't notice and they come around the corner and kill you. Now what I could do, which would be even more awesome, what if, what if this whole thing right here, I take it out, I dig all the way down to bedrock, so this is the, all the zombies has to come through the sides of the building and down the hole to the pipe bomb pit in the middle. Wouldn't that be like the, the most awesome entrance to a pipe bomb base right here? Because then you'd have this chandelier exactly positioned in the middle of the hole. So you would have this like cool light coming through. Oh, we have to do this now. Oh, we have to do this now. The question is how big the chandelier is. Is it on a 3x3 three three, so there's a middle or is it a 2x2? Two two? It looks like that would be a 3x3. Three three. Form over function. Well, it will be very functional too. So what we could do, we need to find out where that middle is and then find that point somewhere maybe over there and that's where we need to start digging. Safe bases are boring anyway. Underground is more, that's more of the action.